Hey everyone and welcome to another episode. In this one we will be looking at creating and printing custom decals. This is a very useful thing to be able to do when you're a scale modeler and uh, I thought to just outline the process that I followed on these uh, ammo crates. Two of these ammo crates are included as stowage in the, uh, in the Paracel figure kit and the other two I got from an old Tamiya accessory kit. The decals you see on the side here was created in Adobe Photoshop and then printed on laser decal paper. The crates themselves were painted through a process where I used a wood grain stencil and uh, as well as a wash and some dry brushing but uh, this video will focus more on the creation of the decal itself. To do this I'll be following a number of steps. First I'll be taking measurements to determine how big the decal should be. I'll be setting up a printable page in Adobe Photoshop. I'll then be designing a custom decal with uh, the help of my reference pictures. I'll be printing a test page first on ordinary office paper just to check the, uh, the measurements. When I'm happy with that result I'll be printing it on decal paper. The decals are then applied and I'll be using two products from Microscale, Microset and Microsol that many of you are familiar with just to properly set the, uh, the decal to the part and finally we'll be sealing everything in with a protective clear coat. So let's get started. To do this we'll need a few things. First a tub of water, a pair of scissors, a hobby knife, some cotton buds just to smooth the decal onto the part, a pair of tweezers and also a metal ruler to take measurements with. I'll also be using products from Microscale as I mentioned earlier, Microset and uh, Microsol. Many of you will be very familiar with this. Um, you can use any other setting solution uh, for decals as well. I've had very good results with these two and uh, I prefer to use them. We'll also need some decal paper. In this case it is laser water slide paper. This is a generic brand. I couldn't determine who exactly manufactures this. Basically this is a special type of paper similar to the decals that one finds in uh, regular kits. And uh, they come in two varieties, one is laser and one is inkjet and uh, I'll be using the, um, the laser variety. Make sure to read the instructions that comes with the paper. Many times there are special instructions, especially when using the inkjet variety. So make sure you uh, familiarize yourself with the specific paper that you're using. Before applying decals you will need to prepare the, the part itself and for that I used Microset's Micro Gloss. The first step is to determine what size the decal needs to be. In this case it needs to fit onto the sides of the ammo crates. I use my steel ruler to measure this. The area that I need to cover is about 30 millimeters by 4 millimeters. Once I've determined this I can go to my computer and I can open up Adobe Photoshop. In this case I'm using a very old version CS6. You might be using another version of this application. It doesn't matter which version you use. The steps are basically all the same. This is not a Photoshop tutorial. These are basic steps and uh, if you're more or less familiar with, it, with the application I think you'll be able to follow along. The first thing of course to do is to set up a workspace. In this case a page and uh, to do that I go to the file menu, select new and then from the, uh, from the dialog there I select A4 from International Paper. We'll be printing this out on an A4 size uh, sheet. You can adjust this to the, uh, to the size of the paper that you'll be using in your country on your printer. Having now done that we need to make sure that we are seeing the correct type of uh, measurement and rulers on our screen. So go to Preferences, Units and Rulers and make sure that the rulers uh, are set to millimeters. Having done this we can now set our guides, our page guides. To do this I drag the pointer from the upper left hand corner, there's a little gray block, you drag it there into the page. Remember you don't want to print on the very edge of the paper. You need to allow some space or bleed as they refer to it in the print industry. So with the uh, upper left hand corner set I now need to determine the length you might need to zoom in a little bit to see that. Now find 30 millimeters on your ruler and drag out a guideline. And you also need to do the same with 
four millimeters. And there you go, within these boundaries, uh, we can now go ahead and create our decal. Now to get the information that I need to put in this decal, I looked up a few pictures online of uh, these specific ammo crates. I believe they are 105 millimeter artillery crates, ammunition crates. And this information contains cartridge information, the type of ammunition used, the weapon that it will be used in, as well as lot numbers. So uh, the one that I created is a compilation of all these different pictures, just basically fictitious numbers with some accuracy as to the technical information that I saw in my reference pictures. I now use the, uh, the text tool in Photoshop to create this. And there you go. Now the small print won't necessarily be visible in our uh, printed decal, but it doesn't matter. I just do this for the sake of accuracy. You'll see that um, I have different text layers and uh, I use different fonts just to create this look and uh, I can now collapse this group and resize it. Using the resize tool and holding down my shift key on my keyboard, I now resize the, uh, the, uh, these text layers to fit within the boundaries that I set earlier within these, these guides. And I now go ahead and copy this a few times as I want to print more than one decal. And there we go. The next step is to um, select print and uh, our printer and output this to our printer. Now I'm not sure yet whether this will print correctly uh, to the correct size that I measured earlier. So I'm first going to print this on ordinary office printer paper. Decal paper is quite hard to find in South Africa and uh, I don't want to waste my precious um, sheets of decal paper. So I rather measure twice and print once. Having done this, I can now use my steel ruler and a hobby knife again. The decal paper is actually different than, than the, the box decals that we usually get in that the entire surface is a decal. So you will need to cut this as closely as possible to the size of the, of the, of the final decal. The next step is to load the printer with uh, the decal paper. Make very sure that you put the paper right side up into your printer. You might need to test this beforehand just so you don't waste a, a sheet of decal paper. And uh, once this is done, go ahead and print a, uh, a sheet out in the highest quality. I can now go ahead and cut this carefully. The decal paper is on a cardboard type backing and uh, it's quite thick so uh, you'll need to cut carefully with your your hobby knife this is now used just like an ordinary uh, water slide decal while the decal is in the water i um, prepare the surface of the part with the uh, micro set and uh, once this decal is ready you can be taken out of the water oops nearly had a little accident there and this is now carefully put onto the part and uh, I now go ahead and use the micro sole solution to just properly set this decal to the part. Unfortunately, in this case, the paper works perfectly. It's a very thin little decal and uh, it really looks nice on the part. All that remains now is to seal these in with a, um, a clear varnish. In this case, I used micro flat. And there you go. This looks very realistic, very close to our reference pictures. And uh, once this goes onto our M54 truck, it certainly adds a new level of detail along with the uh, other storage. I'm very happy with this result. This is a list of all the products that I used. Guys, and always, if you are curious to see the rest of the build, Follow me on Instagram, there is plenty more to follow. See you all in the next video.